court today deemed the Affordable Care Act constitutional based on the Internal Revenue Code, which Guam mirrors. NetCare Health Plan Administrator Jerry Chrysostomo says they believe that based on the tax code, the mandate requiring employers and individuals to get health insurance beginning in 2014 applies to Guam. The problem is thousands of island residents currently choose not to have health insurance because they can't afford it. So if the government, through the Affordable Care Act, mandates it, the question is who will subsidize the premiums for those who can't bear the cost? Is it going to come from the government of Guam or is it going to come from the U.S. Treasury? Uh, you know, still unclear, and I think it's um, incumbent upon the uh, tax commissioner uh, or the insurance commissioner here, as well as the attorney general, to, uh, to look at the law carefully uh, and to see if it does indeed apply to the territory, uh, because if it does, it's going to have cost implications uh, to everybody. Previous interpretations of the law found that the individual mandate did not apply to Guam. Chris Ostimo points out that the majority of employers on Guam already provide health insurance to their employees. Calvo Select Care Health Plan Administrator Frank Campillo says the ruling presents a number of challenges to Guam, many of which the local government just can't afford. The subsidies will cover people under 133 percent of the um, uh, poverty line for singles and 400 uh, percent for families. Yes, I will say a significant number of the population of the island will qualify for those subsidies and consequently it will be very detrimental to the island. It will be similar to what happened to the island with the earning income tax credit. Campillo says it would be another unfunded mandate from Congress. Another area of concern is proposed changes to Medicaid. In particular, Guam is going to be affected significantly. The uh, Treasury of Guam, uh, in my opinion, will not have the financial resources to be able to uh, provide the necessary financial uh, payments that will be required of this Medicaid mandate. Meanwhile, both companies support other reform provisions, including one that extends coverage of health insurance benefits up to 26 years old, preventative maintenance care, and the removal of annual limits and pre-existing conditions. But because the law lacks mechanisms to control costs, the insurance companies warn that costs are going to go up. How much um, remains to be seen, but it will definitely cost more for, uh, for consumers, unfortunately. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Mindy Egan.